Hi everyone, how are you? I'm here back with the second video. Um, hopefully this setup is a little bit better than the my than my last setup. So today we are gonna be cash stuffing, like I said in my last video. We're gonna be cash stuffing some sales that I did off of Mercari. Um I believe I sold about four or five items. I will try to figure out how to put a screenshot somewhere in this video and kind of, uh, I hope it shows my girl sales. Maybe it'll show how much I've made on these sales or I'll try to kind of put it. But I do know the last time I checked was my, this, just this year. And I think I started selling either in the end of January, I think it was the end of January, I just started posting like random stuff and I remember like that first week I had like six or seven sales, it was something crazy and ever since then I really did try to declutter a lot of my things and I kind of bunched them up into putting them on there. I think I have over 300 sales if I'm not mistaken. Um, I will try to put the screenshot of that but I think I've made over seven thousand dollars this year so I think that's pretty good of just getting things and getting rid of things that I had in my home that I just don't have any need for anymore um I don't usually resell like I don't buy something and try to like resell it I think I did that maybe like five times but I feel like that's that's too much work that I'm just not committed to I would be upset if I buy something and it just doesn't sell so um yeah so we're gonna get started this is just over the last week or week and a half that I sold about three to four things I believe so with those it takes away my car sales I kind of already took away the tax of what I have to pay because you do get like the girl's income and I'm not going to be paying bills or anything like that. This is just what I'm going to use for my um, sinking funds for this paycheck, I suppose, of Mercari. So I made actually $300. That's kind of what I rounded it up to. It's $300. And we're going to be stuffing a lot of sinking funds. I do have a few sinking funds and savings things that I do do. It's just something that works for me. If I have these many categories, because if not, it would I would just go on a little spending trip, and I just wouldn't want to do that. So, yes. So this is kind of how I separated things: three hundred dollars, um, twenty six dollars. Usually, the these six categories I have them in a Capital One savings account. But what I don't like about that is that you in order. You can't get buckets like an ally, so this actually, um, there's like the separate savings accounts for each one, and I think that's a little bit ridiculous. So I might just stuff them, and then after it gets to a certain amount, I'll just go deposit it in the bank. I feel like that'll be a little bit easier for me to do. Um, so yeah, so I'm not stuffing a whole lot other than like in each one, other than in vacation because I am going on vacation next month and my savings and like a 10k challenge that I have going on. Everything else is it's pretty low numbers. Um so yeah, so this is the layout. Hopefully it's in frame. All right, let me zoom out a little. So this is the layout. It goes all the way down here. All right, let me So yes, yeah, so this is what it is. I separated them into four categories um, and it all equals to $300. So, okay, so this is what it is. I'm stuffing gifts, um, piercings, and I'll just, as I'm stuffing, so this video is too long, I'll, um, I'll kind of explain what each category is for. So I already did this beforehand, so let's get started with the money so i didn't want to wait again at the teller's office so 
I go to this. My bank is with Wells Fargo. So I go to this ATM that's inside the bank. But you don't have to talk to a teller. And you're able to pick how much money you want. But they don't have 50s or 10s. So I'm... And I didn't want hundreds because I'm not stuffy. Hundred dollar bills. So you can only get up to 50 bills. <clears throat> so I had to do three transactions. I should have just gone up to the teller. It probably would have been easier. So these are literally ones and fives. It's it's a lot of money. I might speed this up. Got everything sorted out. We are going to count how much money is in here. And move it a little bit closer over here. So, okay. So this is a lot and I might need a calculator because that's going to be a lot for me to go through. So, 20, 40, 60. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. I'm gonna do it by chunks with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so that's three hundred dollars. Oh, we're gonna split this. It's a lot. Okay. So we are going to get started here. I do probably have to bring out my little cheat sheet because I don't remember. So we're gonna start off with this middle one right here. And this one on over here. And we're gonna start off with Disneyland and I have updated updated my trackers on here so Disneyland so this is because I have a Disney pass I do live in Southern California and um I have a Disney pass so I go quite often and just for me not to you know go into debt every time I go I do like to split money aside so when I do go um it's not so much of a of like a burden for me um i'm blocked out these next two weeks starting today i think excuse me so i won't be going until maybe the end of january so i had to have a little bit of time to build this up so this disney one is getting five today i'm gonna use one two three four So right now, Disney has 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 36, 37, 38, 
10, 20, 25, 30. Amazon, we all like to shop at Amazon, so I just like to have some money in here. So Amazon gets $2. Okay. Now I have 5, 10, 11, 12. For babies, this is for, I mean, it's self-explanatory here, but this is for my pets for their um monthly shots or anything like that. It goes into here, and they're getting ten dollars. I know they are supposed to have twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five. 70, 75, 76, 77, yes, 77 dollars. Okay, for toiletries, this gets two dollars. Now it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. For household, household gets two dollars as well. And now it's supposed to have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars. For beauty, it gets five dollars. Or bills, but this is just what we got today 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. And then for my P.O. box, it's getting three dollars, which it's actually due at the end of the month. I think it's 53 dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Twenty, thirty, thirty-five. Twenty, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, and I have the rest in the bank for this one. And this is for my buffer that I have that I'm I'm saving up for my debit card just to have. It's getting twenty. Now I have 50, 70, 90, 110. And then this is for my capital ones that I have in the bank, and I'm just going to cash up these here. So pets gets fine. And now it has $45. It has 40 in the, they have 40 in the bank. And this is for food, treats, and stuff like that. Oh, uh, my hair gets 10. And this one has 140. I have 130 in the bank. Pedicure gets $2. And this one now has... $69 because I have $67 in the bank. P 
piercings because I'm saving up for piercings because over the summer I got like four new piercings and it was no more I think I got six or seven new piercings they were quite expensive so I just decided I have to save up for them I just can't go on a whim so piercings gets five and they have there's 150 in the bank now it has 155 do you want to have one ear that has more than the other and I just want to get them a little evened out okay for birthday gifts it gets two dollars and now it has 37 dollars and then for events this is like concert to anything like that it gets two dollars there is five dollars in the bank i went to a game of Thrones conventions and that's where i used most of it that was the coolest thing i've done okay so this binder is done so now we're gonna go to um, this binder which has I have buckets of these in my ally savings account which is a high yield savings account and um after a certain amount I'll, I'll stuff them there so vacation gets fifty dollars it's gonna be a lot of fives and ones so So I had a because my whole family is going so I had to pay for a um, a dog boarding to board my, my puppies so I actually paid with some of it but I'm going to replenish it with my next check that's why it's a little bit little right now I believe I have 594 in the bank. So this equals that 594. And they're at 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that's 600. And then 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I have the rest in the bank. So right now I'm at 644. But as soon as I get paid, I'm going to replenish this. Okay, car maintenance gets $3. So it has, there is 55 in the, no. There is some in the bank, and it's 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. And the rest is in the bank, and I'm supposed to have $58. My car tags, so it's $5. We can do that. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry if you hear that. My dogs are going crazy. I have 100 in the bank and 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I have 130. And my tags are due in the end of May, I believe. I think it should be around 400 and something. 
so for Christmas, which I'm still saving up for, it gets $10. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll use this for ten dollars. So I believe I have fifty in the bank. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So a total of $80. So 50 is in the bank. My emergency fund gets $10. Same. 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to pick you with my. Gosh, I know how it is what it is. So I have I have one thousand one hundred in the bank and twenty, forty, forty five. Twenty twenty twenty, forty, forty five, fifty. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I have a little bit more. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I think I have 1,110 in the game. Because I have 1,170. Okay, for my dogs, for their emergency fund, because they also have one, they are getting, oh, because it's this is getting 10, not 20, and only put 10. Okay, now that, so that's 1,120, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 55, 56, 57, 60, 68, 69, 70. That makes more sense. Okay, so my dog, I get in 20... Sixteen, seventeen, eight, no. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And in total, they have three hundred in the bank. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 79, 80. Yeah, 380. Okay, and education gets $3. Okay. Twenty, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. 
$28. The rest are, is in the bank, which is a total of $53. And here I put $10 to dentists. And we'll just do two times. So it just has ten dollars in there. Okay, so now we're gonna do our savings one. So we're gonna actually fill out Another square in our $10,000 challenge. And we're filling in number 54. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, one, two, three, four. I have two hundred in the bank. This is where my numbers get a little spotty. So 200 in the bank. So we might use our calculator. <laughs> 200 plus 50, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 60. 30, 31, 32, 33. 383. Yep, and that's what we're supposed to have. I mean, I can't believe that we have $393 on this. It's crazy. I forgot when I started this. Okay. And then savings. Which I haven't made an envelope for it. But I'll put it in one of these. It's going to be 50. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 41. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We have $50 and just, this is just regular savings. I'm just putting it in here because I haven't made an envelope for it. I think I have 50 in the bank, so that's 100. Okay, guys. Well, we're done with our cash stuffing it was a short and sweet one but i did want to put that out there just also to kind of like let people know about you know just reselling things you could actually make money off of it it is time consuming it is worrisome um i haven't sold anything on like ebay or poshmark but i have had success on mercari and i've sold like maybe three things on depop but other than that i mean it's just extra money that you get and it's, it's, it, it, I think it's worth it sometimes if you know one man's trash is another man's treasure type of sort of thing um 
I, at first, I remember when I first started selling, I wanted to make, like, my packaging look so cute and blah, blah, blah. And I was spending so much money on it. And I realized that I ordered things online. I ordered things from Amazon and whatnot. So I really recycle a lot of what I use. So it's been a long time since I've actually bought supplies to, like, package my packages. I mean, I still even with recycling i still pack them pretty well and nothing gets broken like i've sold candles i've sold very fragile things that thankfully have made it safely like i said i think i've sold over 300 items there is some bad reviews here and there but it's not a whole lot i guess i'm considered like a trustworthy seller on there i will put if it lets me i'll put my link to my shop on there i'm sorry the phone keeps moving I'll put the link to my shop on there um, to see, see if anyone's interested. Um, it is very easy. It is takes a while to get a hang of it, but I remember I would read a lot of Reddit posts and stuff on how to handle some things. Um, out of like anything, I think maybe I've gotten a headache like one time. Thankfully, no one has scanned me, and I've sold pretty high, not pretty high price. I think like the highest thing i sold was my dyson air wrap that i just wasn't using and i think i like it went for like 545 dollars or something close something crazy like that or maybe a little bit more and thankfully it made it i didn't get scammed and i got my money so that was that was a nice surprise um i think i've sold like an old cell phone on there before that has also reached its destination i think i sold an apple tv so i have listed high price items and they do sell obviously you just have to be worthy and kind of have a gut feeling if of the set of the buyer but other than that it's it's pretty cool like i said it's extra income especially right now sales are kind of going down i just feel like it's because of the recession um, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about selling on Mercari or selling online, I mean, my biggest one is Mercari. I would be happy to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, so yeah, put your questions down below. Uh, I think I have also thought about splitting up my paycheck so I can do a weekly cash stuffing. But I think that won't happen until my next paycheck, which is next week on the 30th or 29th, whenever it comes first. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to have to crunch some numbers and see how I'm able to do that. Also, tomorrow, I will possibly, or my next video will be a cash unstuffing and kind of show you how I use the money that I have to pay off my transactions that I had for the week already because I do need to pay off some of my credit cards of what I've used and just to see what I have how much money I'm gonna have left for the upcoming week um until I get paid again hey guys so if you have any questions at all that I can possibly answer or help you with I'll be more than happy um thank you for watching uh what is this subscribe like my channel comment if you can uh very much appreciated um again bear with me i'm still trying to get the hang of things i might have to get a new phone holder because i feel like this one's very shaky so i might have to invest in one now that i'm looking at it um oh yeah and i think that's it for today hopefully the video quality gets better and kind of this setup is a little bit more neat than my last one i think i was a little bit all over the place well again guys thank you so much for walking and watching and i'll see you in the next one bye